Welcome back, indie lovers in the indie buffet. Today, we are checking out the release of Across the Obelisk. Now, about seven or eight months ago, I ended up covering the original early access release, which is amazing. And then this whole thing has been an amazing journey. This game is absolutely phenomenal. If you are into the card roguelike genre, this is kind of one of those staples that you want to be in here. You know how you like to have Slay Aspire. Um, you, you honestly have just these amazing games that you really want to be a part of. Um, what is it? The Hell Train or, or whatever that one is. Uh, I, I'm drawing a blank right now for some reason. But this is one of those games that just changed the genre in a good way and do things better. And the good thing is also if you and your friends have it, you can actually hop on multiplayer and play with friends. So I can actually hop in here and be able to check out friends. I play, play with friends in this game too. So your friends can control the action with you. So it's really cool to kind of like jump in here and be a part of the journey together. I, I do love multiplayer games. It's something inside of a roguelike card game. Oh my God, with multiplayer. But for now, I don't have any friends with this game. So we're gonna hop in and check this game out now uh looks like it's like compatible with this looks like I have, this was version 0.7 point like that. that was all the like way back in january uh so we're gonna delete that game we're gonna continue going with a new game uh and we're gonna hop in here this is the new character i unlocked as you see i haven't unlocked a lot because i had to reinstall the game with a new with a new version so i ended up losing my original save fire so we actually don't have anybody i do want to start unlocking a lot of these classes uh, i was obsessed for the longest time I was obsessed with Stay Aspire. So this, I can definitely see myself with this game becoming obsessed with it as well. Uh, so I got a little bit of rank here, rank one. Looks like I can choose which one I want to do here. I can assign max HP, all resistances, initial gold, initial shards, or sight, reveal one card per charge. Move one card at the end of the turn. Ooh, there yeah, looks like he has this whole perk tree here. Now, the my, one of my favorite things about the game is, honestly, you can modify your perks before the game and on the first town with some restrictions. You can also save and load different perk to inferiors before the game starts. One of my favorite things about this game is it feels more RPG-ish in this situation. You know what I mean? It definitely feels more RPG-ish. The idea that I'm being able to assign to like a skill tree is pretty dang cool. So I think I'm going to go with... Um, I think I'm going to go with slashing damage. I'm not... If I'm not mistaken, he has a lot of slashing damage. So let's go to assign him. That's perk. It looks like I have a lot of people with one rank one here. Um, this one is going to be piercing damage, but I might actually increase his max health by four. Evelyn. A lot of, a lot of spells. Let's see if I can increase the elemental damage here. I usually go with a fire mage. But I might actually go with a cold mage this time. I might try to go in with cold. And I don't remember. You're a healer, right? Healer slash holy paladin cleric thingy. Do you already have one? Oh, one assigned with this work. Okay. Mystical. Healing damage plus one. I'm going to keep you as the mage. Now, this person I've actually never played as. This is a voodoo witch. Kind of a cool little thing here. He applied to Dirk. Upon reaching 25 charges, it explodes. Remove all charges and suffer two shadow damage per charge. So 50 damage, basically. Uh, this damage can be blocked and is not affected by other modifiers. Remove one charge at the start of the turn. You suffer four, and I know what that, that hand thing is, though. Grant one, or grant one vitality, gain HP and max HP plus five for a charge. And then regeneration, heal one HP per charge, that's right, that's right, then remove one charge. Deal five, I guess that's shadow damage. Uh, Maluka is the owner of Ak. Where falls voodoo shop where she sells all kinds of rare and custom made potions she is also an expert healer and with her voodoo magic she can curse her enemies after receiving a very special ingredient from some adventurer she decided to close the shop and explore the world to research for more rare ingredients for her potions healer who has good cursing enemies and a spell and magic see i like that they give you kind of like a little backup here and they also have skins too check this out oh heretic with that i like that 
I didn't realize they had skins too. They have uh, so much with this game. Look at this. You need to complete the Obelisk Challenge Mode in Madness 8. You need to complete the Obelisk Challenge Mode. Adventure Mode, level 4. Uh, madness in level 14. Complete the Adventure Mode. Like, this is so... Actually, very cool. Look how beautiful that is. He actually looks great in that color. Balanced Warrior who excels in both attack and defense. What are you? You're a healer specialized in blessings and direct heals. So I'm actually going to stay with the standard party. I'm sure she has her bonuses. But I definitely want to unlock. There is, what, 4, 8, there's 11 more characters to unlock. So let's kind of keep the standard party here. Correct me class for this position. What's Madness? Madness difficulty settings. Select the Madness difficulty that you want for the game. Additionally, you can activate different corruptors that will modify the game, increasing the Madness level. So if I... Oh, wow. This would get crazy. Alright, it doesn't look like I'm going to do anything here, so we're just going to do... We're just going to begin the adventure. on the princess's 16th birthday. When suddenly, a burst of energy erupted from the princess's chamber and swept through the kingdom of Synenthia. The royal guards explored every corner of the castle, but found no sign of her or Lord Hanshek, the court magician. The king sent soldiers all over the kingdom, but none of them returned. Notice how the kings are always fat or the like chubby. The princess was lost deep in the old forest near the ancient obelisk that had been dormant for centuries. Desperate, the king proclaimed a royal decree, announcing a reward for whoever brought the princess home safely. The news spread quickly throughout the kingdom. Many groups of adventurers prepared to investigate the obelisk. This is the story of one of those groups. I really like that. That was beautiful. Character event. That's how you get the... Is that how you get the, um, the healing pig? Last Sentinel. The Hatch. There's a character event up there, too. So there's all character events right here. I kind of want... This is like a blind fighter. I kind of want that guy. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling this, so maybe I'll go... This is a rare event, which we want to do that. This is an uncommon event, so we, pro we probably want to go this way. It seems like there's a lot of action this way. Even though I want the pig, this is like a really nice little lead into events, you know? I do like when you put the cursor over that they have like a little... You know, like a little... Like, you can go here, you can go here, but this these are what leads to this. I do like that. That's actually quite cool. So let's go with the rare event. Looks like it's the oh, there's a rare event up there too. I could probably go here, 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 here. I can't get to both rare events at the same time. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can get to the both rare events at the same time. So um, I'm not gonna get there. I could go here, here, and I fought that before. That's why I have that unlocked. I don't know who that is. So it looks like each run's gonna unlock like one character, maybe two. So you have to make a few runs here. Here's the town. I do have town upgrades, which I think I've... Have I upgraded the town before yet? Common cards available for crafting increased to two. Cost of transforming cards. Cost of damage cards reduced by... Hmm. I forget, is this a free one? Oh, it costs one supply, so I don't have any supplies. I don't have any supplies, so I can't upgrade the town. Magic Forge, craft cards from, for your deck. Average energy cost one. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's back out of here. Uh, alter, upgrade your cards and transform those to more powerful versions. I have 300 gold, so I probably could. Each card is different ver upgrades the more powerful than the base version. You can make an offer with shards in order to upgrade the card. Also, it's powerful transmute a card between its upgraded versions. And a higher rated card, the higher the cost to upgrade. So, there's a lot of cards. I had to relearn the game, basically. Did I pay some of that piercing damage? I did. 
He's got rupture for bleeding. I do like the bleeding decks. Draw one card. Gain two energy. That's a really nice card. What can I upgrade that into? Nothing I can afford right now, but that's really cool. I could upgrade these. And this is what I do like about this game too as well. The idea that it gives you two, so I can upgrade my fast strikes into a zero, but it does less damage. So I get, I can basically strike, 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 strike. So I can basically turn this into a fast draw deck if I wanted to. Or I can upgrade it into where a point where I do more damage. So I do like that. I don't think I'm gonna do anything right at this point in time. Maybe upgrade my heals. I think my heals were the worst. If I'm mistaken, I think my heals were the worst. Speed, minus one per five charges. Remove one charge at the start of the turn. This does more damage. And this uh, costs more, but it deals way more damage. I might have one... I might have like one Mega Frostbolt. Let's do one Mega Frostbolt. So I kind of have it ready to go. What does the heal do? It's a one heal, but it vanishes. This heals more. I think for right now I'm okay. Move cards from my deck. Armory, buy equipment for your heroes. That's also something I love about this game. The idea that you have... The idea that you have... Um, you have equipment that you could buy. So you could literally equip your characters with all these really cool, ex really cool things. And later on, you get these really nice equipment. You get this amazing equipment. Plus one heal done. That actually might not be very nice. Speed plus one. I have plus three percent to dispel one. All resistance plus two. Sight, revolve one card per charge. Slash and pierce damage plus one per charge. Move one charge at the end of the turn. That wouldn't be that bad, actually. I don't want to put it on him. I don't know what this pet companion thing is. It looks like you have a pet, too. I don't think I've ever actually done that before. Gain six thorns. I feel like he's going to be in the front. Let's give him thorns. There we go. Spends all my money real quick. And let's just roll on through, I guess. And again, I'm going through this way, right? Yeah, I'm going through this way. I'm going for the blind. I could, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna decide. Do I want the blind man? Do I want the blind man or do I want whatever this guy is? This looks like a little archer. I don't think I've ever had the blind man and the, the healing pig is amazing. I think I've had him before. He takes the archer spot, if I'm not mistaken. Look at the crazy sheep. Crazy sheep. Crazy sheep. Does whatever a crazy sheep does. So it is your turn. So I could draw one and gain four armor. Let's do that. Aha. Draw one, gain four more armor. Aha. Now. Who's next? You're next. So your front one's next. Actually, all three are going to go in a row, so it doesn't matter. But apply two bleed, apply one slow. I could do that. I can move them back. That's the front monster. Let's do that. They move it to the back. There we go. What does this mark do? Damage taken plus one per charge. Prevents one stealth per charge. Remove one charge. Remove stealth from the target. So now he's bleeding, so he's going to lose two next round. I have two uh, experience. I'm sorry, I have two left. I could actually kill the front one there. And that's that turn. Now, you have, you have energy bars in the bottom here, which is really, honestly, I love that about the game. You don't waste energy, you just build energy up. So if I pass this turn, I can like defend, defend, pass, and save whatever energy left for next turn, which I love. I do like that a lot, actually. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know. I don't remember, I think you have to have insight or something like that to be able to uh, tell. There we go. I kind of wanted to rage. But looks like I just got a defense. 
There we go. I granted everyone some armor there. So at least when they attack, maybe I have to happen. Tantrum. So there we go. Looks like I can kill him before he does any damage. He is going to take two bleed at the start of the turn. Ooh. Equals her hand times 0.5. Deal, X, X, apply, apply resistances. So I do three damage to all of them. Three damage would not be enough to kill the front. But that's really good if I get a bunch of things in my hand. There we go. And now he's gonna deal three light to this to the target sides at the start of the turn. Ooh, so it's gonna hit them. I should have hit him then, it's what hit there. A lot of things to learn. A lot of things to learn about the game. I love it though. Because a lot of things to remember about the game, I should say. You gain one energize. Gain one extra energy per charge at the start of the turn and then remove all charges. Ooh. So you're going to get a ton of energy next. Fire cold lightning resistance plus 30%. Shield. I love it. And I'm blessed. Damage deal hill plus one. Very nice. I put extra on you. Gain foresight plus three. So that means I can see his card, right? Every single time. I believe so, right? I'm just gonna save it because I got heal cards here. And he's dead. Yeah, see, so that's how you do it. You gotta get the insight here. Gain 11 and gain 11 later on, too. So, we got three. So, let's go and attach that. Let's go and pin him to the back. Let's go slice him again, and we're gonna end that. I think I get a chance to be able to kill him. I do. I do that, and I grant myself five. Now it's just time to melt. See, this is... Dead. He's dead. But, let's do it anyway. Ooh. Okay, so I could choose three shards. So I could actually, each person, get the chance to be able to... Each party member is treated differently, which is, honestly, one of the best ways I've ever seen a game... A game, um handle so this is draw one gain three powerful damage and healing done plus five percent nice charge 10 honestly that's that's a really good card that's a really nice card war paint i will take it especially because it's the upgraded version burning shot deal 15 damage deal x x equals your attack times 0.5 Apply three burn. That's a really nice shot. Quick shot. That's upgrade quick shot too, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think I'm gonna go with the burning shot, honestly. Rain. Apply two wet. Lightning damage taken plus one per charge. Oh. This is for everybody here, though. Which is quite cool, actually. I honestly probably should have built her as a, as a electric mage because it looks like she's getting a ton of electric. Healing spell. Let's go to healing spell. A better healing spell. Here's a rare event. The lost sheep. As I just killed the sheep, actually. You see a small sheep running towards you and running away from a group of sheep that look angry. The poor sheep hides behind you seeking shelter from the other sheep that were chasing her. And you notice that the sheep has a necklace for her name, Betty. On the necklace, it also has the owner address, Eastern Farmland. The other sheep are likely to attack you if you don't walk away from, if you don't walk away from Betty. You can try to return it to owner or ignore it. Combat. Confront the sheep and take return Betty to her owner. After the fight, you will, you will have to cross the field to the north to be able to return Betty to her owner. I'm not going north, though. Maybe I am going north now. Maybe I am going north. Honestly. 
Ooh, why are they different? These are different than these. Black sheep, sheep. Looks like they're a little more... Oh, look at the top left. I do like that. You have four. I think I'm a double rupture. Honestly. Yeah, I'm a double rupture there. Apply one slow. Apply a vulnerable. All monsters. Hmm. I would definitely have a barricade, but I become kind of a wren too. He's dead with a bleed no matter what. The other one just okay, so that one's done. So let's let's try and take this one out here. I definitely want to use the charge batteries. Ooh, that's actually really nice. Start charging this one up. It's gonna start doing damage to everything else. And I'm gonna do this one to. Actually, I want to do the frostbolt. I'd like to foresight it to this one, honestly. I'd like to make sure I know what I'm doing with that one. Um, let's apply a barrier to the front. Let's totally smite him. And then we'll do that. He's dead no matter what, so let's start working on this one. Let's work on hitting him. Grant one, look five, discard any of them. So I'm trying to not eliminate this guy now. If I do this, I get extra aim shot in. The big problem is he just attacks the front monster, honestly. No use to waste them. There we go. Let's see if I can't get this strike down before he dies or before. There we go. Unlocked and upgraded. Ooh. Sight, re reveal one card per charge. Damage taken plus one per turn. Prevents one stealth charge. And vulnerable. All resistance minus five per charge. Ooh. Your hand times three, discard a card. So if your hand get big, you could do really well there. Times three, so whatever the damage, whatever the, um, whatever your hand is there would be really nice. 15 armor, 10 extra, and then one shield, or oh, sorry, one reinforce. That's a really nice one. Let's do that one. Draw three, gain one energize, place one card from your hand to the top of your deck. I mean, that's for zero, too. Let's do that. You and I apply one, but you suffer one cold. Yo six, apply one slow. I think this is going to be one where I do...
That one's not bad, because you get 10%. You get 10% more. There. So maybe I'll do that. I might do that. I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... Uh, I almost want the shards. Let's do the shards. There goes her hand. The Holy Smite's normal. Let's do the shards in this one, too. Alright, so now I have to go to... I have to go there, to Betty's house. I have to go there. So I have to go up now. Which means I have to either take... So I either have to take care... Take him? Yeah, I have to take him then. But I get this as a caterer event, so let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Obelisk Corruption. The Obelisk Influence has corrupted the monsters in the area. You can choose to fight them under the effects of the corruption. Increase the difficulty. Gain additional rewards. What do I get for this one? All monsters gain all damage plus two. Immune to frost and slow. Every two rounds adds freeze to all monsters. This is an extreme challenge. My... Oh my gosh, look at my, um, look at my reward. Deal 12, uh, deal 12, apply three frost, and then repeat five times. So, 60 damage to beat these four guys. But this is what they get every single time. Pit one cold burst, every two rounds adds... Every three rounds adds freeze to all monsters. Freeze. Deal six random hero. Deal six random apply four cold one. Cold burst. Suffer eight, suffer eight, target sides six. I don't know about this one. The party will gain access to exotic equipment with 30% discount. Evelyn will get the winter orb card for free. Uh, no, I'm just doing this normal. Because I want the characters. I want the characters. When I get better at the game, I will 100% do that. Um... Get rid of those. Keep the rupture, keep the deflect. Who's going to do the most damage? These farmers, if I'm not mistaken, suck. Like, they hurt so freaking bad. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good draw. That's a very good draw still him. He's still drawing here. Hopefully he attacks the front. Hopefully he just attacks the front. Random hero. The front works. The front works. I like the front. That's good. I'm okay with that. If I... Who has the lightning? Who's the worst lightning resistance? The back person, actually. We do more damage there, but this one would target both of these when the corn guy comes up. But this would do this. But this would kill the person in front. I'm 
I'm actually not too worried about killing the one in front. The reason being is he's going to go first. He's going to go next, and he's going to kill the person in front. Let's go Foresight. Let's Foresight this guy. All monsters apply one, heal eight. Wait, you're applying wetness to everybody. <laughs> so my lightning is going to be crazy. Let's holy smite you. And then let's do this. And then I will take the extra energy next turn. Ironically, now they're taking more damage from the fire from the lightning now. I'm right about to drop. Okay, so let's deflect, deflect. He got healed, so I have three. So this is gonna be five. So two, four. I wouldn't be able to do enough damage to be able to kill any, kill anyone right now. I can rupture him. Which would be nice, which knocks him down a little bit. And that does that. Then I'll do this. And we'll do that. So he's dead no matter what. Here we go. Ooh, what a time to have no... What a time to have no block. The corn is actually resistant to fire. That's a little weird, isn't it? Who's healed the who's hurt the most? Actually, the two front of them are hurt the most right now. Um who's going next? They're gonna do enough damage to be able to kill both of these guys. So the farmer is the worst one right now. So let's let's get some heals in here. Can't use this right now, so put that on top of my deck. Put it later. And you're gonna kill this guy, so I'm gonna go for the one in the back. He should draw enough to kill him. Which he actually drew nothing to attack, which is great. He's literally drawing all defense cards. Love it. So, now you're dead. Now I can focus on you. Who got hit the most there? You did.
I'm trying to keep everyone at top right now. There we go. I did it good. Monster. Ooh. That's a nice one. It targets the sides. I like that one. Gain one speed. Rapid fire. Eight. Apply one bleed. Two. Ooh, poison shot. I do like poison. I do like poison and bleed. But I do like this because it bleeds three times. But this is... This is aimed. This is more damage. But this one's aimed. Let's do this one. Fire Blast upgraded already. And still costs zero. I'll take that. Purge. Purge Fury to spell Grant 1. Okay. Deal to shadow, apply four. That's actually really nice. Let's do that one. Oh, it's a rare event right there though, but I have to come up here because this is a character event. Betty returns safely. You arrive at the eastern farmlands with Betty intact when the farmer approaches you and says, Oh, you found Betty. Thank you so much, strangers. Even being so small, she's my favorite sheep, but I won several local contests with her. I wonder how she got away. I don't have much gold, but you might be interested in hearing a rumor as to where the legendary golden sheep might be. What do you want as a board? Oh, I wish I had 500 gold. I want to keep Betty. You kill farmer, keep Betty for yourself. What's the legendary golden sheep? Thirty percent. What is the legendary golden sheep? I want to keep Betty though. As the locals know, the legendary golden sheep is a magical sheep that appears rarely with other grazing sheep and protects them. The sheep has golden wool and no one has ever been able to catch it, but his wool could be worth a lot of money or useful craft of magic items. This morning, while Ziggur for Betty, I seem to see the golden sheep in the grass hill behind the tower. It is most likely that it is still there. The grass hill behind the tower. There it is, that one right there. Which I actually miss end up missing all my characters. Oh lovely. Oh, I love it. I miss all the characters that I wanted to grab. But I go to the top. And I get a rare event. Man, okay, whatever. Let's go. We gotta get to the hatch. You come across a house of runes, and inside you see a large hatch. You try to open the hatch, but it's probably closed. It, it is properly closed. A few seconds later, a voice speaks to you through the hatch. Only those touched by the flames. Then the voice remains silent as if waiting for a paraphrase. You don't know the paraphrase, so you leave. Jumping into the hatch will break it. The problem is trying to land on your feet. Try to open the hatch in a safe way than jumping on it. Doesn't this open up, like, a lot of treasure? I got it. Success. Success, success, fail. And something broke. Ow. The hatch. Kingdom of Synethia. Something broke. Did my character break his... His armor. Let's go here. So the gatekeepers. You're inside the hatch. Here you can see what at first glance seems like a normal basement, but at the end of the room you can see a door with three pigmen keeping watch. 
They are new to this place, but they don't seem very excited to have it in staying guard. In fact, one of them is lying down almost asleep. The other two don't seem very smart either, but they could have raised the alarm depending on how you approach. Clearly, it's not the usual basement you'd leave now. Combat. Charge them directly so they can't call reinforcements. Pretend. Act like you were one of them and go ahead. They don't seem very smart. Let me try to intimidate them. Ha. Huh. Hmm. I think... Should we charge them and... Hmm. Charge them so we can't call reinforcements. They don't seem very smart. Let me try and intimidate them. You attempt to impersonate one of them has gone wrong. You discover it. You see to discover you have no choice but to fight. Oh, I gotta fight them. Ooh, God, they're pigmen. They are pigmen. I'd love to go with a burning shot, but... Ow. Hey, get rid of that. Discard that one. Make him fall back. Put this on stone skin. Let's strike him as well. And let's hit that right there. Hopefully, this hit the front. Ow. Bye bye. Can I dispel anyone? I want to see if I can dispel anyone. Let's see if I can dispel anyone. Okay, so foresight. So I want foresight. I'm gonna do him in foresight. He is doing three fire, five resistance. Okay. I can say it actually returns, it removes the burning there, so now all my burning's gone. And I kind of want a holy smite. And I'll keep the energy for this one for next turn. Ow, five fire. Jeez. Okay. I was hoping for double him, honestly, but whatever. I did that for the energy regeneration, honestly. What's he doing? Lowest HP monster. Dispel bleed. Apply five fire and heal 18. So he's gonna do it to himself. Cause I'm gonna kill this guy in the front. I'll go ahead and gain that just so I have it. just need a really good holy smite which I didn't get I 
save his man or save his energy. Might as well. He's dead no matter what. So I say he's dead no matter what. Unlocked, unlocked, upgraded. I like unlocking them because you're gonna get them for later on. Dash strike. Punch. Ooh, hamstring's nice. What does hamstring turn into? Hamstring might be nice. Let's do hamstring. Front monster. Ooh, six and six. Apply three, one vulnerable. You gain one stealth. This requires stealth, doesn't it? Yeah, it requires stealth to play. There's a shadow bolts. Those are really nice. I do like igniting. Ten fire is really good. I'm in. The imp altar. The summoning circle. We're going this way. Let's go this way. Evelyn will get the dark patch card for free. All monsters gain resistance. All monsters gain disarm charges. Unable to play attack cards. Ooh. Oh my gosh, they're about to be gaining that much. Just for defeating them, but they can't play attack cards every two rounds. Are these definitely attack cards? Yeah, melee attack, fire spell. So technically they're doing the magic there. I don't know about the the dark pack spell. I know that's a pretty nice spell. Twenty three for shadow. I do like this though. This is really nice. They gain resistance to attack already, so I'm doing less damage. Let's try it. He's got two cards. Shut up. Place one thing on top of your deck. Um, I'm gonna place this one on top of my deck. This way I can aim. I can rupture. Thanks, nice slice. I mean, this one's a given. This is this is this part this is a group that really hurts. Like in the long run it really hurts. I just only gain sight, even if I only gain sight against them. 100%. Do I have four? I do. Okay. So 
So I can't play any attack cards now. Um, so I want to draw... I just want to gain as much energy as possible right now. That's why I would do. This is going to be tough. This guy's in the back of the toughest. The guy in the back is the toughest. Um, what am I going to do here? Correctly, the imp actually starts doing like massive AoE damage, if I'm mistaken. It's actually kind of annoying. Middle hero, nice. Technically, both of them are middle heroes, so how do you decide? just being lit up. I'm gonna use everything in my power to get rid of this one. I'm hoping you have a holy smite or so. Uh, between the four of us, we'll be able to beat that one. That one's the one that's really gonna be a big issue. Why aren't you using... Yeah, I know, I know. Everyone's like, why aren't you using this? But I, I want to do that, that's why. Everyone's hurting right now. Oh, that's right. They get pacifism now. Love it. That's too bad, too. I could have probably rocked their worlds this time, too. I just want to get rid of him, honestly. Yeah. 
Honestly, just, just aiming to get rid of him right now. Um, I'm going with the heal because he is very low. Yeah, he's incredibly low. And honestly, I need his damage. I think he can finish him off, so I'm gonna go for... Big boy. He's gonna pull all resistances now, ready? Watch, here we go. Oh, thank god he pulled that. Okay, cool. So now he bleeds to death. Nice. Stop hitting my unguarded guys. Come on. I should have saved for a second. I should have waited for a second and healed up. Honestly. Satisfactory. Oh god, that's not good. Oh, that's bleeding too. Okay. Dispel crack. Dispel targeting. I'm gonna take that. Hmm. Ooh. If only I can get into stealth. The ambush card, look at that. That's nasty. That's a nice aim shot, actually. It's, good. it's one for eight, but whatever. Flash shield for one five? No. I like these. I like those a lot, actually. Cards a lot. Plus three. Box to kill. Plus four. Nice. Uh, before this video gets too long, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here, folks. Thank you so much for checking out. Uh, the Obelisk. I know we didn't get to the point, but these runs last for hours, but they're, this is one of the best card genre games out there. Absolutely phenomenal. Love this game. Check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check the links down below, and I will see you folks in the next one. Peace!